Welcome to my humble abode with my fake fire. It is time for another fireside chat. And here I wanna talk about, and just then use some actual numbers because I, I get it, talking in theory is one thing, but to, to also show some proof of what you're talking about, you know, that, that goes a ways. And what I wanna talk about is just forcing trades. Thinking and having the illusion that, you know, you, you gotta be trading every day, you gotta be putting on trades, and you always got to be active. You always got to be active. And, and that's how, you know, the money is going to really add up. And sure, you do need to trade. You do need to put on trades. But it's amazing how things will add up even if you don't make any trades at all. And forcing trades, the reason I want to talk about this is it's very common. And it's a very, um, you know, because we have this illusion in our minds that, Okay, let, let, let's trade. We got. Oh, I haven't put on any trades today, or I haven't put any trades. You know, within whatever your strategy is. Okay, we got. And then you start imagining things. You. Okay, yeah, that. that okay, yeah, that's a setup. And in all actuality, it's not a setup that you would ever trade. But because of the the mental mind game, and I realize if you've never traded before, you don't. I probably look like a crazy person talking about all this mental mind game. If you have traded though, you know, up here you have all sorts of voices in your head. But those voices will corrupt you, corrupt your vision. And all of a sudden, you're looking at some sort of trade that you normally wouldn't take, but in the spirit of, I, I, I got to make a trade because, you know, I haven't made it, or, you know, you're going to make a trade and all of a sudden you lose the trade. And then that opens the door for the revenge trading voices to come in. And then you're starting to, you know, potentially go down a very deep and a very nasty rabbit hole, nasty in the sense of losing money rabbit hole, because now you're just, the wheels are falling off the bus and you're forcing trades. Now you're revenge trading and it, it can get very, very nasty. I speak from experience. But I want to show you that you don't have to be trading all the time. In fact, for me, I had three days in the month of September where I didn't trade. Now, I did look to kind of maybe try to trade on a couple of mornings because I was on vacation, but it was very, very lax. It was very, very me being extremely picky because I, I understood that, you know, you don't need to trade every day. And it, it, that's just not how it actually works. And this is also why uh, you need to be very careful with, okay, I'm, I'm quitting my job right now and I'm becoming a full-time trader. Because at that point, you actually kind of do need to trade because if you have a light bill that needs to be paid uh, and you don't have any money set aside to pay it just in case you don't make the trade, that's a whole nother can of worms. So point here though, is that if you have other revenue streams coming in or some sort of pile of cash, you know, a rainy day fund, if you will, an emergency fund, whatever you want to call it, sitting off to the side, that's what you need. Emergency funds, other streams of income, and that's gonna do a, a huge job in alleviating the I need to make a trade voices. But also, and that's the point of this video, I want you to know that you truly don't need to be making a trades because like I said, in the month of September, I had three days where I made zero dollars because I made zero trades. And I'll sh flash up on the screen now the results and are they mind boggling? No, but as somebody that's doing this part time as one of my many streams of income, I'm very, very happy with the results that again, Zero dollars, zero trades, three days in the entire month. If you look in the bottom right-hand corner, you can also actually see that the one uh, day that I did trade, it was a very, very quick one. I made 49 bucks on it. So really, I mean, yeah, I made 49 bucks, but essentially those last four days were uh, basically zero trades. But yet at the end, I made just shy of $7,000 of you know, income into, uh, you know, into my finances. Now, depending on what other channels you watch and you know people are doing smoke and mirrors, you may be thinking $6,900, that's terrible. But again, I'm telling you right now, trading is one form of income for me. I have multiple streams of income from real estate and many other ventures and such that I have in place. So 6,900 bucks for working from home in my underwear, pressing buttons, I'll take it. But think about it, $6,900 for that and three of those days I didn't even trade? One of those days I made just one quick little trade for 50 bucks. It's amazing how much the numbers add up. So remember that, let the numbers add up. Let your strategy do your thing. If you let your strategy do your, th and this of course assumes you actually have a strategy and that's a whole nother ball game, but assuming you do actually have a strategy, have faith in it, let it do its thing. If you let it do its thing, it's gonna lead you to high probability trades and you're gonna have trades that win, and over time, things do actually add up, even if for a day or two, you don't make any trades. I mean, you could have taken out a couple more of those days, and I would have still had over $5,000. Again, $5,000 for the situation, for the setup I have, I'm very, very grateful for it. So, I mean, I could have had, you know, 
probably another four days where I didn't trade at all. And like I said, still $5,000 extra in my pocket. I can think of a lot of things to do with $5,000. You know, you could go to some all-inclusive resorts in Mexico. You could, uh, you know, actually buy a used car, a cheaper one, but you could literally buy a car, which what I made um, for just sitting at home in my underwear. And I don't say that to brag. I, I say that to try to keep things in context because I know there will be at least a couple people in the comment section or that email me and say, dude, you suck as a trader. You only made $7,000. I saw fill in the blank of some late night infomercial person and they made like 10,000 in one trade. Okay, that's great. Go, that, fantastic, good for them. I'm happy for them. But keep things, keep things in perspective. Don't force a trade. It'll be okay. If you have a true strategy, have faith in that true strategy. Let the strategy do its thing. And even if you don't have any sorts of trades, things still add up very nicely. If you are out there trading alone currently and maybe are in the market looking for a community to join to assist you in your trading or to just help you, you know, give you another set of eyeballs, then I do have a private trading community where you can trade alongside me and other experienced traders. So what you see popping up on the screen right now is both an information link. So if you click on the inner circle one, that is going to take you to the page where I explain all the details of what exactly come with the community, both the chat room and the newsletter. And then the other image that has popped up is a behind the scenes tour where you can see exactly what is going to you know, be contained within the community. I take you through, like I said, a behind the scenes tour of everything. And that way you'll know precisely what you are getting uh, you know, when you join. So definitely check that stuff out if you are interested and thinking about you know, wanting to join a community and let me know if you have any questions.